Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. The ocean likes to call ships. Over the centuries, storms and reefs have amassed a great collection at the bottom of the sea. Wars added plenty more wrecks. And when water conditions are right, skeleton crews and cargoes remain preserved for centuries. Humans have been sailing for millennia, but submarines as we know them today are more recent innovation. It takes a brave soul to journey in one of these claustrophobic underwater vessels, surrounded on all sides by crushing pressures of the sea. And the ships and submarines combined make up for some of the most amazing and mysterious events in human history. There have been countless incidents of ghost ships and alien technology powered submarines, but one can hardly separate truth from exaggeration. Anyway, today we're going to bring you some of the most mysterious incidents involving ships and submarines. Let's go! Number 11. U-537 The Germans had some strange military initiatives in World War II, but perhaps one of the most unusual was the scientific outpost they created in the Arctic Circle. Since the Allies occupied the westernmost areas, they were much better able to predict the weather for their naval strategies. That was until Germany decided to set up a weather outlet of their own. This weather station was delivered by U-537, which was outfitted to be able to install the equipment on the northern shore of Labrador. The submarine persisted north despite pretty intense obstacles. It hit an iceberg and sustained major damage, rendering it unable to submerge. The Germans, however, managed to reach their destination and set up their weather station. They disguised their setup as much as possible, making up a fake Canadian name for their equipment and strewing American cigarette packs around to make it seem like it was an Allied station. On its way back to its port, it occupied France. U-537 was attacked three times by Canadian planes, but managed to escape. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 10. The Era Candidate Benjamin Laysmith was a prolific Arctic explorer. The Englishman saw places that nobody else has seen and has many named after him. In 1881, the ship, the Era, sank near an archipelago that is today known as the Franz Josef Land. After safely reaching solid ground, he named it for his famous relative Florence Nightingale. A few makeshift cabins at Cape Flora sheltered Smith and his crew for the next six months. They were rescued and Smith continued with his career, earning prestigious awards and respect for the scientific world. Despite the honors he received and the achievements that marked his expeditions, Smith was largely forgotten a few decades after his death. To rectify this, researchers spent years hunting for a stem yacht. In 2017, a Russian crew surveyed the bottom of the sea at Cape Flora. Scanning equipment located the object the size of ERA, and video footage gave positive feedback that the wreckage belonged to the yacht. If confirmed, the return of the ERA could help put Smith back on the map. Number 9. Sea Champagne In 2010, divers explored the seafloor of the Finnish Auland Archipelago. They found a shipwreck with 168 wine bottles. The 170-year-old beverage turned out to be champagne. Some ended up with divers' digestive systems, and the rest made it to a laboratory. Surprisingly, the wine's chemical composition closely matched that of modern champagne. But there were differences. The 19th century wine reflected the era's sugar worship. Today's brands contain as little as 6 grams per liter, whereas the shipwreck bottles had a stiff dose of 150 grams per liter. It also contained more table salt, copper, and iron. Pork engraving suggested that the wine came from the French champagne houses Hidziec, Juglar, and Veuve Clicquot Parsadien. The delivery was delayed by the ship's demise, but the ocean's condition to mimic the perfect wine cellar. At 50 meters deep, the constant dark and low temperatures aged the wine surprisingly well. Wine tasters described it as smoky, spicy, with floral and fruity notes before taking the smoky further with flavors like grilled and leathery. Overall, a tasty bubbly. Number 8. U-505 
On October 24, 1943, U-505 was bombed with depth charges by British destroyers. In the midst of the attack, Peter Zesch, the commander of the sub, shot himself in the head in front of his crew in the control room. In an account of the day's events, a crewman named Hans Gobler notes that Zesch didn't fully die by the gunshot and was making loud sounds after he shot himself, making it easier for the British to locate them by sonar. He then describes someone grabbing a pillow and placing it over Zesch's mouth to the dismay of the crew's doctor, who protested, but two other crew members held the pillow firmly until Zesch was silent. Zesch's second-in-command took over and led the crew through the attack and everyone on board survived but Zesh. The entry from the logbook that day reads Commandant Do, meaning Commanding Officer Dead. Number 7. UB-65 Another German U-boat, this time from World War I, that had uncannily morbid luck was UB-65. Before she set out to sea, a torpedo exploded, injuring several crewmen and killing the second officer, Lieutenant Richter. Soon after she left port, a lookout who was on the conning tower reported seeing Lieutenant Richter returning to haunt the boat, standing on the deck. Maybe it was the long, lonely days at sea, the crewmen kept reporting sightings of him, and things soon got bad and the higher-ups had to step in. The Imperial Navy ordered a pastor to kick out the ghost. In UB-65 final stroke of terrible luck, an American submarine found the U-boat along the Irish coast. As the Americans prepared to attack, they were shocked to see UB-65 explode on its own before they fired. One American officer also reported seeing a silhouette on the deck wearing a German officer's overcoat with folded arms, standing sturdy while the boat sank. Number 6. The HL Hunley Picture this. It's 2000 and you're a diver going underwater to help pull out a Confederate submarine HL Hunley the first combat submarine to ever sink an enemy warship. The submarine disappeared the same day it sank the USS Housatonic on February 17, 1864. When you get to peek inside the craft, you were struck by the sight of eight skeletons, each manning a respective submarine station, none of which appear to have been alarmed by the sinking or have moved from their posts. What could have caused them to stay where they were? perfectly preserved in a strange image of action. The answer scientists found out is that the HL Hunley suffered from the explosion of its own torpedo, which was detonated by ramming the Housatonic, knocking them unconscious. Unable to guide the sub or do anything else, they remain at their stations, not to be discovered for 136 years. The HL Hunley came to rest about 300 meters away from the wreck of the Housatonic. Number 5. USS Trapang Submarines are the last place you would think you'd see a UFO. But in 2015, mysterious photographs published to the French magazine Top Secret show just that, a cigar-shaped unidentified flying object. The photos were reportedly taken in March 1971 by an officer aboard the Trapang in the middle of the ocean between Iceland and Jan Mayen, a barely inhabited Norwegian island. At the time, the Trapang was conducting a routine expedition and apparently found the UFO by accident, as it was spotted through the periscope by Officer John Klicka. A British UFO investigator named Nigel Watson has said a similar-looking cigar-shaped aircraft has been spotted and reported since 1896, and reports have come from all across the world. While he is skeptical of the authenticity of the photographs, we can dream, right? Number 4. The Moving Ghost Fleet In 2017, a group of 5th graders visited Mallows Bay in Maryland. They looked at 200 wrecks from the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and both World Wars. Over the years, the vessels were sunk on purpose, but today, they mesh together an artificial ecosystem for several species. The children, ages 10 and 11, wanted to know more about the so-called Ghost Fleet. They poured over all aerial maps marking the locations of the wrecks, looking specifically at maps compiled decades apart. The children wanted to see whether any ships had fallen apart or moved. The map showed that the fleet was partially on the move. Some had scooted far from their scuttling positions, moving downriver as much as 32 kilometers. The inquisitive youngsters also found the reason. Over time, sometimes centuries, 
the wrecks got nudged along by floods and storms. Number 3. Titanic Fire Damage The RMS Titanic was on a fire before it collided with an iceberg. When the liner departed Belfast's Northern Ireland and sailed for Southampton, England, coal bunker number 6 was already smoldering. Ship officials knew of the problem and struggled for three days to bring the fire under control. After the ship sank, the fire was brought up at the original inquiry. However, the incident was played down and the official ruling stated that the tragedy was caused by an act of God. New evidence suggests that criminal negligence was to blame. In 2017, an investigator found new photos of the Titanic showing dark areas on the hull, specifically near bunker number 6 where the future iceberg would cause the worst damage. If the investigator's calculations are correct, the fire lit the hull to a hellish 1000 degrees Celsius or about 1832 degrees Fahrenheit. This sapped up to 75% of the metal strength. This frailty amplified the collision's damage. Healthy panels might have slowed or prevented the unexpected sinking of the Titanic. Now get ready for today's top pick. Number 2. The Columbus Mystery The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria became infamous after they carried Christopher Columbus to the New World in 1492. Their discovery would be unequaled by any other. Despite decades of searching, nobody has found a single splinter. Columbus wrote that the Santa Maria hit a reef off Cape Haitian, Haiti, in 1492. The crew used the hull to raise a fortified village called La Navidad, which is also missing. There is no sign of the Santa Maria in the Caribbean, where Toretto worms can consume a wooden wreck within years. The area is also trampled by 500 years worth of tropical storms, not good weather for a ship that went down in shallow waters. Modern technology like sonar also fails to detect ships buried underneath centuries-old layers of sediment. The ships contain little metal as well, making a critical ship finder tool, the magnetometer, useless. No records exist of what happened to the Nina and Pinta after they returned to Europe. For that matter, Columbus sailed three more times with new fleets, and none of those ships were found either. Number 1. Missing World War II Wrecks During World War II, the Battle of the Java Sea was fought between the Allied forces and the Imperial Japanese Navy near Indonesia. Several ships from Britain and the Netherlands were lost, as well as a submarine from the United States. In 2016, the area was scanned with sonar, and to the outrage of many, Dutch vessels HNLMS De Ruye and HNLMS Java, as well as the British HMS Exeter and HMS Encounter, had completely disappeared. Significant portions were also missing from the HMS Electra and the HNLMS Cotier. The submarine, the USS Perch, was also nowhere to be found. The region is lucrative for those stealing scrap metal. Indeed, illegal scavengers have been known to disguise themselves as fishermen and blow shipwrecks apart with explosives. This treatment sparked the outrage. The ships had sank in 1942 were also near the war graves of hundreds of sailors. However, the plot thickened when legal salvage companies, even Indonesian naval representatives, claim that the ships were too large and deep. Any attempt would require cranes, manpower, months activity, making a stealthy steal impossible. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it and please stay tuned for some more great content.